Pretty cool, right? The most trending 3D printing method lately is printing images. And in this video, I'll tell you the easiest way to 3D print any image you desire. If you're worried that your printer doesn't have AMS, this video will also provide solution. Once we import the image into WhoForge, we'll get a model preview of the image on the left side. We only need to focus on three areas. Layer height and base layer height. Color sliders. Brightness adjustment and brightness compensation. First, adjust the model size according to your printer. Then, Adjust the brightness and details of the model to match the image using the brightness adjustment and brightness compensation sliders. Finally, choose the appropriate color from the filament library and drag it to the color sliders. You can adjust the color's layer depth until it matches your desired outcome. If you want your image model to be see-through, avoid using opaque colors like black for the bottom layer. A color can be used multiple times, and it can create different visual effects at various layer depth. All set. Now, let's begin the export process and we'll get for files. STTL and text files are the most important documents. Import the STTL file into Orcas Lister and adjust the layer height and base layer height settings to match those in WhoForge. Start slicing process. Wait for a while, we'll get the G-code file. Since my 3D printer is K1 Max, don't have AMS function, so I need to modify the G-code file. It's really easy. 1. Open the G-code file using Notepad. 2. Search for the specific number mentioned in Describe. 3. Add the pause command right after that section. This will make the printer pause after each color, allowing you to change filaments. After modifying the G-code file, import it to the Creality K1 Max via LAN. The K1 Max's high camera is incredibly handy. It enables us to observe the nozzle for pauses, making filament changes. Additionally, its time-lapse feature is really cool. That's the end. If you have any questions about WhoForge, please ask in the comments. Subscribe if you like the content for more exciting 3D printing tips in the future. See you next time. Bye!